It's a classic Arabian fantasy, complete with a wish-granting genie and a flying carpet. Tonight, we're taking you behind the scenes of one of our parent company Disney's biggest smash hits. Aladdin, the lovable thief, is stealing the show in a brand new Broadway musical. But will fans flock to see a cartoon prince come to life? Here's ABC's Elizabeth Vargas. It's an iconic Disney tale that has come to life on Broadway. But with millions of dollars at stake, the question is, can the magic of Aladdin really translate to the Great White Way? Good, let's hold there for one more second. Ladies, could you try something for me? Nightline was backstage in the anxious days before opening night. Here. Come on down, come on in. Let Hot the, Shot director, right? choreographer oh, Casey oh, Nicola was oh, still oh, making oh, major oh, tweaks oh, to the production. Ah, okay, okay. It'll be there. Searching for a winning formula. Okay, okay. So guys, let's go again from follow me to a place. No, I actually told them, uh, you know, we're frozen, we're not going to change anything else, and that day I did change it. I sort of have my last chance at that point. I like it. Prince Ali, fabulous. The beloved 1992 movie earned more than $500 million and won two Oscars for best song and score. Aladdin was a mega hit by yeah, every standard. Absolutely. It is still a classic. Were you at all anxious about taking that on? Of course. We've seen it doesn't always work to just take something that was a movie and put it on stage. You have to figure out how to make it soar and be relatable in front of a live audience. Who pulls the, fur the curtain over stage right? No detail is too small for the old school song and dance man who's best known for a raunchy musical yeah, comedy that won him a Tony. Casey Nicola and Trey Parker for the Book of Mormon. Book of Mormon has South Park in it. Aladdin asks for a totally different thing and for me it's whatever the show needs is what I give it. Ooh. At first, what his show desperately needed was more music. The movie only featured five songs, but luckily Casey and the creative team salvaged more songs from the Disney vault. And our hero's pals. Babcak, Omar, and Kasim, Aladdin's scrappy best friends, were originally cut from the film to make way for Abu, the monkey. Casey brought the trio back to help humanize the story. Come on, whisper what it is. But can a mere mortal also replace the shape shifting blue genie? James Eigelhart, an exuberant rising star, plays the part with a manic, physically improbable gusto. I have to be honest, I was exhausted watching you. If you saw a skinny dude jumping around, you wouldn't really be impressed, would you? No, that's true. <laughs> but if you see a brother who's like damn near 300 pounds, you go, oh my God, that's amazing! So. <laughs> <laughs> Even the poor people look fabulous! Eichelhardt is a childhood fan of Aladdin, who always dreamed of playing the genie. This is the biggest thing that's ever happened in my career. So big that when the directors called to offer him the life-changing part, he had a camera rolling for posterity. It is finally yours. What? Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm going to be the genie on Broadway. <laughs> that is so freaking awesome! Now, what are you squawking about? On set, he was starstruck to learn that his co-star, who plays Jafar, also voiced the role in the 1992 movie. Ah! I'll teach you some respect. And I remember our first reading, when he first spoke, I literally stopped being manly for a moment. He spoke, I was like, oh my God, it's Jafar! I like became <laughs> a teenage girl. Is it fun to be this evil incarnate? Yeah, die what do you every think? Single night. Wouldn't you like it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little early and it usually happens after 8 p.m. It gets me every time. But when it came to Aladdin and Jasmine, Casey deviated again from the movie, casting a sexier, slightly older pair. But don't worry, they still fall in love on a magic carpet. You can't cut that out of the story. No, you can't. I mean, you can't deliver a mattress on a stick, for sure. As for how it flies, the Aladdin team would not divulge trade secrets. It's super magical. Mm -hmm. um, people are watching it and they say, how are they, how are they doing that? And what? their faces are like this. <gasps> Here's wow. wardrobe. And it's not uh, just the cast that stage. shines, says Casey. When the tap dancers come out, you just cannot believe how much sparkle comes off of them. 
backstage, we get a sense of what it takes to run this ambitious show. Do I get extra pay for this? It's totally fun. It is? Yeah, it is. Or don't is it no, bad? don't look up. Just look straight ahead. Okay. Although he did never show us the legendary carpet, at least we did get to test drive this top secret special effect. <laughs> I know, right? It's so fun. Oh my god! <laughs> Come on, fellas. Yeah, you pulled out every single stop. Pretty much everyone. Ellie. We're pretty shameless. It's a lot of low comedy with very elegant costumes and sets. And you know? with perhaps a slightly raised eyebrow. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's like, you know what? We're going to give this to you. It's a fun night and it's a fable. And here it all is. For Nightline, I'm Elizabeth Vargas on Broadway. For more of the magic, you can check out Aladdin the Musical on Broadway.